So this is probably the most popular cactus around the world. It's grown in the gardens in uh, hot countries and in countries with cold winters it's grown in pots as an indoor plant. Most of the people outside of Mexico know it only as an ornamental plant but in fact it is a very good vegetable. In Mexico it's commonly used. So you might heard about its edible fruits but most of people never heard about that those flat parts called nopals are very common vegetable in Mexico. This knowledge spread to some other countries too but for example here in the Philippines not many people ever heard about that it can be eaten. Most of pe people just plant it in their gardens and they only know that fruits are edible. Yep. But while the fruits are quite seasonal, those nopals can be eaten all year round. The older one, which are a bit tougher, are very good for cooking. If you chop it, it's just like pieces of okra. It's quite slimy, it's crunchy, it has very nice texture. And when it's young and quite soft, you can eat it just fresh. So you can chop it into small pieces and add to salads. Now you can just use your imagination and do whatever you want with it. Yeah. It's a very good vegetable and much underutilized outside of Mexico. Yeah. If you're not from Mexico, you probably never heard about it as a leafy vegetable. Besides for fruits and the pods being edible, the flower petals are also edible and they have pretty fruity taste so they combine very well with fruit salads and desserts. So as you can see here, most of species of Apuntia can reach really big size and it ha can have actually very rapid growth it can be dormant which means it's not growing at all when there is no water and in such a way it can survive any literally any drought well as you might guess as this is the desert plant but when there is lots of rain it can have rapid growth. Opuntia is a very good vegetable and while eating it can help you with uh, stomach problems like indigestion, ulcers, it is used even for diarrhea but also in the same uh, time for constipation. Uh, but it can also be applied externally in the same way as aloe as uh, it is uh, very similar when you cut it open it's uh, quite like a gel it's the, the flesh of those clads it's uh, very similar to a aloe vera gel so it is very good to apply on the skin when you have uh, minor cuts it will help with healing when you have uh, skin infections for many kind of infections in the helps and also uh, 
when you have uh, irritation. It's perfect when your skin is irritated, uh, you have some uh, allergic reactions. So you can uh, massage a bit of that, uh, that fleshy juice of a puntia and it will definitely soothe it.